Welcome you all. This is chapter 2nd Nelson Mandela Long Walk to Freedom written by Nelson Rolihalahala Mandela and this piece of writing this extract has been taken from uh, his autobiography uh, Mandela's autobiography Long Walk to Freedom. So here today I'm going to explain you page 17 and 18 so here we go. 10th May dawn bright and clear for the past few days I had been pleasantly besieged by dignitaries and world leaders who were coming to pay their respects before the inauguration. So here I means Nelson Mandela. So it was 10th of May and the sky was clear, sunny, day was sunny, that is a pleasant day overall and for the past few days Nelson Mandela had been surrounded pleasantly surrounded that is uh, he had been receiving lot and lots of international guests from different countries and he was uh, he was surrounded by people uh, who were coming there to congratulate him to uh, to present their best wishes from the government. The inauguration would be the largest gathering ever of international leaders on South African soil and that was uh, the largest gathering of world leaders for the first time in South African soil first time in South Africa because before that there were sanctions on South Africa. There were, there were, uh, say, restrictions on South Africa because uh, it was practicing apartheid, or uh, that is discrimination of uh, blacks. So, uh, the governments, world well, government, uh, that is the different governments of the world, uh, disapproved or not allowed the government, or say, uh, they did not approve the South African government but now after the after uh, the elections democratic elections are uh, they they are uh, they were coming to express their support their solidarity and also the wishes to them the ceremonies took place in the lovely sandstone amphitheater formed by the Union Buildings in Pretoria, that is the inauguration program. The ceremony uh, was to take place in Pretoria and there in the amphitheater, amphitheater an open space with, uh, with uh, rows, rows of steps rising, uh, rising and uh, there uh, the seats, that is the people used to sit. So there uh, the program was arranged and this amphitheater was surrounded by the government buildings uh, because it was uh, a capital of South Africa so uh, it was surrounded by the place was surrounded by government buildings and all the government uh, programs and all used to take place there so it was chosen for the program or for the ceremony for decades this has been the seat of white supremacy and now it was a sea it was the site of a rainbow gathering of different colors and nations for the establishment of South Africa's first democratic non-racial government okay so uh, what else is said for decades this had been the seed of rainbow gathering for decades uh, this had been the seed of white supremacy that uh, the uh, white government the white government had been ruling, had been uh, running from that very place, from Pretoria, from that uh, that place. And now it was the site of rainbow gathering and now it had suddenly turned from, from the white rule to the rule of the blacks or say the, uh, the democratic rule and then uh, there for the inauguration world leaders and uh, eminent personalities had gathered and that had turned into a rainbow gathering gathering of different colors people from different countries 
uh, different color, uh, creed, and um, all. So it had turned into a colorful uh, place, colorful, uh, yeah, colorful. Uh, it had turned into multicolored, uh, multicolored. Uh, you can say, oh, it was presenting multicolored view. Um, okay, so and they had gathered there for the first democratic non-racial government for the installation of a uh, first democratic and non-racial government that is free that was free from any discrimination against any race or any community on that lovely autumn day i was accompanied by my daughter zenani okay and on that lovely autumn day um mandela was accompanied by his daughter he was escorted by his daughter he was he was say uh, taken to the stage to the podium uh, by his daughter we cannot say that he needed any kind of support but uh, some company was given to him by his daughter Zenani on the podium mr. D Clark was first sworn in as second deputy president and there um, as the program official proceeding started first uh, mr d clark took the oath oath of office and he became the second deputy president of the country then tavon Baiki was sworn in as First deputy president. Then it was the turn of Stavo Mbeki, uh, and he became the first deputy president. Uh, to mention here, Stavo Mbeki also became the president of South Africa, and he uh, became the second president of on that land. When it was my turn, I pledged to obey and uphold the constitution and to devote myself to the well-being of the republic and the people now it was his turn it was the turn of Nelson Mandela and there he took pledge he took oath to obey and uphold the Constitution to obey the Constitution to follow the Constitution and uphold that is to maintain the Constitution and then to devote himself completely for the well-being for the good of the Republic and its people well-being also means welfare to the assembled guests and the watching world I said and then he addressed all present there and since the uh, world media was also present so he was also addressing the world as at the same time today all of us do by our presence here confer glory and hope to newborn liberty so he addressing the world and the gathering he said that today by this presence of ours then that we are present here and as we are present here we confer glory we confer uh, say grand grandness you can say glory itself is a term and you can say we are glorifying we are beautifying uh, we are giving it a new meaning and hope to newborn liberty and we are also giving certain hope to newborn liberty so by this presence we are glorifying it first we're making it grand and secondly we are also giving it a hope a hope to newborn liberty that it will uh, that it will thrive in future out of the experience of an extraordinary human disaster that lasted too long and it was uh, uh, this hope or this um, say liberty had been achieved out of an experience of an extraordinary human disaster that is uh, it came after it came to us only after the suffering long suffering of human disaster of human calamity of human mishap human accident that was caused by humans only 
that lasted too long must be born a society of which all humanity will be proud and by this experience must born a society because uh, we suffered long and so there must there must come out a new society of which all humanity will be proud to which humanity human being all societies must be proud of we who were outlaws not so long ago we were the outlaws not long ago just say a few days back only a month ago only we were the outlaws means we are not protected by law we are not uh, we were not say given any kind of protection by law uh, so here have today been given the rare privilege to be the host to the nations of the world on our own soil but today we have this honor to welcome the world on our soil our, on our own soil yesterday say we were uh, not protected by law we were not uh, uh, supported by law and today that is say we live in hiding we were not allowed to come out in open say for example but today we are welcoming the world on our own soil so this is a great achievement we thank all of our distinguished international guests today we welcome we thank all our distinguished guests all our reputed and eminent international guests for having come to take possession with the people of our country of what is after all a common victory for justice for peace for human dignity and we thank today to all the international uh, personalities dignitaries who have come to attend this program uh, to show their support to the new born democracy because your presence also show your support and your presence is also a common victory for common victory for justice for peace and human dignity it's a common victory it's not only the victory of South Africa and the blacks but it's the victory of the world because uh, the victory shows victory of justice justice was delivered peace established and human dignity uh, has been granted that is human dignity has been maintained or humans have been given their proper dignity proper right we have at last achieved our political emancipation and today we have achieved our political freedom we pledge ourselves to liberate all our people from the continuing bondage of poverty deprivation suffering gender and other discrimination today we pledge we take a note that we will liberate we will free all our people from this continuing suffering of poverty deprivation suffering gender and other discrimination we will make sure that uh, that we all come out of poverty we all come out of deprivation we all come out of suffering we all come out of gender and other discrimination all kind of discrimination never never and never again shall it be that this beautiful land will again experience the oppression of one by another and never again will this land never again in future this land will experience such oppression such suffering of one by the another the sun will never set on so glorious a human achievement and the sun will never set on this glorious achievement this is a big achievement a glorious achievement a fine achievement and sun will not set means this will continue to live this this uh, this uh, democracy will continue to survive let freedom reign god bless africa uh, let freedom reign let this freedom continue to survive continue to thrive god bless africa that is may God 
bless this land this is all for now thank you